It's very ironic that earlier in the year, we were all excited because China had prohibited the selling of, of uh, ivory in China. And then here we are as the United States now opening up uh, this kind of commercial hunting or this, this big hunting. So I was, I was surprised just at the optics of that. You know, when we thought we'd made a gain for elephants, and then here the United States was going back on, on uh, a, I think, a, I believe, a good policy that it had. It's really curious how they're making these decisions because, of course, none of us know what those conservation facts are or the new information that, that the administration apparently used to, to make this decision. And so it would be really nice to, to see the report, to see the information that, the, that these two governments apparently gave um, the administration so that we could judge a little bit more for ourselves. It's kind of hard to believe that there could really be information that would change the status of the population of elephants that would kind of could be used to reverse this decision. It makes it look, for example, like the U.S. is open to uh, killing of elephants, the poaching of elephants. Um, it makes the U.S. look like it's not as strong in its conservation of elephants as other countries like, like China. It also is a very bad optic in vis-a-vis -vis local people. Because now you're saying to local people, you can't poach elephants, um, that's illegal, but we can fly in these super rich people and they can hunt elephants and then take their trophies out. If we're thinking about this from an economic um, and development standpoint, which is a good idea for African countries that need development and need, need revenue. Um, really, there's a lot more money earned from ecotourism than there ever will be from you know, a handful of people, or I don't, I don't know how many people uh, that are doing this, this big game hunting. So maybe working with African governments and, and American industry or American companies to promote ecotourism, particularly in places like Central Africa where there's not a very developed ecotourism um, uh, or an ecotourism sector. So I would put my focus in terms of economics on ecotourism rather than on big game hunting. And the big game hunting, uh, in addition to actually decreasing populations and not raising as much money as ecotourism, it also directly promotes conservation.